The New Zealand couple stuck in China after their baby was born three months premature say they're still only being allowed access, restricted access to her. Baby Lily Hugo was born in Shanghai after her parents stopped off on holiday. Now they're struggling to raise the money to get her home because their insurance company says their policy doesn't cover it. Tom McRae reports. Kick. Born at 27 weeks and weighing only 990 grams, Lily Hugel's life is in the balance. Her parents are struggling to come to grips with suddenly giving birth half a world from home and then repeatedly being denied permission to see her. This is a really important time that I'm supposed to be bonding with my child and I'm not getting that opportunity at all and it feels very strange and it's incredibly emotional for me. Access is restricted to the neonatal intensive care unit in seven days, the Hugels have been allowed in just three times and told to make do with doctors' updates on their fragile baby's condition. It's the way that the Chinese medical system works. It's a, largely a cultural difference, I think. The, um, the family is considered an outsider in the hospital. It's expected to cost more than $200,000 to get Lily home. She'll need to have specialised medical equipment on an aircraft with uh, a team of neonatal specialists. On top of that, their insurance company has denied that part of their claim. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade are assisting the Hugels, but say they aren't allowed to provide any financial assistance to help get them home. The couple are urging other pregnant travellers to thoroughly check their insurance to know exactly what they are and aren't covered for. A Facebook and Give a Little page have been set up. Already $60,000 has been raised. And worst case scenario, if she dies, we'll never get to see her again. That's why we want to help. The earliest she'll be able to fly is in two weeks, but it's likely to be closer to two months. Tom McRae, 3 News.